Hi there, my name is Ginny Getzo, and I've got to, an opportunity to share a story about refilling today. So I love that today's scripture, John 2, was about a wedding. It just so happens that my husband, Alan, and I have been married for 21 years next week. February 1st, we got married in a wonderful Moravian church that we attended for quite a while. And one of the neat traditions of the Moravian church is that at the beginning of the year, they give each individual and each congregation a scripture that's called a watchword. And um, it was a wonderful way to kind of reflect back on God throughout the year. So a few weeks ago on Epiphany Sunday, when Jennifer mentioned that there'd be star words up on the altar, I was really excited. And I went up and found that instead of a scripture, it was a single word, which was good. And my word for 2018 was seeking. So I was given the word seeking. And as I walked back from the altar, I was thinking, well, that makes sense. It's searching for God's um, will in my life, searching for his way, and kind of thinking about as I return back to work, what's his will there? As our son goes off to high school, what's, what high school to go to? And just generally, how do I live my life to glorify God? So then when I got home, I was thinking, I really want a scripture. And so I went and spun the wheel of Google, just tried searching random things, and I came across a scripture that said this. It was Psalm 105.3, and it says, Glory to his holy name. Let the heart of those who seek the Lord be glad. And there was that word seek again. And this time, it completely stopped me in my tracks. And I thought, wait a minute, Ginny. God is not a Sherpa. God is not a tour guide. God is not a life coach waiting to direct you to a better life. God has already shown me and shown each of us the way. He wants to fill and refill us every day with the joy of his salvation. So it's like the woman at the well, he gives us living water that he gives us. Or like Martha, he asks that we sit in his presence and be filled and refilled in his presence. And in my life, I've seen over and over again that he is a God who keeps his covenants. He is a God who provides overflowing joy. Over and over again, God has refilled me with the joy of his salvation. So I once heard um, a sermon on John 2 where they commented on Mary's reply to Jesus. And Jesus' reply was, Mom, I'm not ready to start my ministry yet. And instead of conjoling him or nagging him or convincing him, Mary said to the servants, do whatever he says. And she walked away and got back to the party. And if you look at her Mary's song, you can see that she already knew the Savior. She was already there glorifying God and being filled with his joy. And Mary uh, uh, probably needed his joy often, and she went and seeked the source of that joy, God. So today I'm grateful to God for this reminder for me and for all of you. God wants us to seek him and be glad. As we seek him first, he will refill us with gladness and rejoicing.